Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Better Than Napoleon campaign in Europe Universe Alps 4. Looks like my navy might actually be able to break his, beat his if he's going to separate them. He can be there on the 19th. I think he's constantly going to be... Nope, we actually do. We did manage to catch him. 24 and 11. Could go fine. Naturally, there's a disease outbreak. Naturally. Well, this has been a long, fun war. Now I'm just hoping that the King of Burgundy feels like dying. There is that one heavy in there causing problems, but... Once it sinks, we should be all right. No, nope, look at that. Damn heavy is 100%. Gonna be the last one targeted, apparently. Hmm. I thought that would go better. Oh well. And of course, they've breached the walls there, so. Six out of five relations now. How are we looking on the election? We're improving with Trier to make sure we have the vote there. We've got the support of mines very easily. Cologne. wonder if perhaps I should um, go ahead and break a relationship with one of these guys, like Saxony. He keeps voting for himself. I think so. Curse you, Bogomilist heretics. Curse you and your stupid... This thing, too. Water shortage. Water shortage. Over and over again. Oh, hey, thanks, Papal State. Had I known you were going to do that, I wouldn't have even come down here. Burgundy's being rather pesky right now. And of course, this siege. I can't believe how long the siege is taking. It just refuses to work. Vensois? Or Armand? Armand is our only siege guy, so he kind of needs to stay there. Thanks a lot, Papal State. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Please take this. The sooner we get above 75. Thank goodness. 69%. Looks like we do have to do one more damn siege. Uh, we'll go for the level 2. If we gotta do a coastal siege, I'd rather do that one. Call for peace? Bullshit. What happened to not getting call for peace if you don't occupy the war goal? Hmm? Apparently that strategy, that, that information that I had learned is just wrong. 
Had I known that we we're going to get it no matter what, I probably would have seized down Picardy ages ago. Just to get the damn war score above 75% earlier. That sucks. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, we probably don't really need to worry about sieging anything anymore. Now I'm really disappointed. I mean, I was all geared up and ready to go to just sit on him for 20 years, you know? But now we already have six war exhaustion and we've got to call for peace. That is quite frustrating. So I assume we just stay in this war for as long as we can then, right? We just have to cross our fingers and hope. Just completely ignore war exhaustion. You know, what's the worst that could possibly happen? We get up to 20? Of course you would move into another wooded province. I can't say I'm happy. Might find a way to pull through it. Could just get lucky. I remember, what was it, the second run? Second big blue blob run that I did that I... I went for the Brigandian Inheritance and it fired on command. I guess it's like Murphy's Law or something. Like, I'm paying for the fact that I've had really good dice rolls by having really bad mean time to happen rolls. Sad. Well, it is what it is, you know? Can't always get what you want. Sometimes you get what you need. That's the saying or something, right? Burgundy refuses to stop trying. They should just know when they've been beaten. The whole thing could be salvaged if it just is nice to me for a moment. Just lets us have it. You know? Just give it to us. Come on. King of Burgundy dies. Go. Pops up on the screen right now in five, four, three, two. Next month. 
Now, before you get all crazy and start saying it in the comments that, uh, that, you know, it can't fire because you're the Emperor or something, that's not true at all. Back to getting ideas again. I think I'm going to be stubborn, and I'm just going to ignore war exhaustion. I don't care what kind of problems we have. 20 war exhaustion, revolt risk in every province, sounds fine. What are they going to do, rebel? Bah! We'll find a theologian. See? There he is. We'll hire that guy. That's all you need, right? You just hire a theologian and then you don't have to worry about 20 war exhaustion. It's fine. Totally fine. Manageable. It's actually ideal. Working as intended. All this effort that I put into this war. Ugh. And we still end up getting called for peace. So how does that mechanic work then? Is it just a, a fixed percentage? Like a fixed war score and time? That must be what it's using. There's still 7,000 infantry out there somewhere. Okay, well, since we've committed to this, I'm going to go and speed the game up. We're going to pick uh, a couple guys to, to vote for. Or, sorry, to improve relations with people that matter. And we're just going to go, like, speed 5. Make up for all the time that we spent on speed 3. Gain a general with 100 tradition. Okay. Marc de, de Rio. 523. If only that was a 253. A lot better. But I do suppose he's better than the 324. Not by much. Okay. What's war exhaustion? It's just a number. We don't care about that number. It's not a real number. Province overview. So we're going to look at base production and see what we can build. So we've got a workshop and a temple here already. Main. Do a temple. Uh, that's not the wrong one, though. Main doesn't have very good development. Napoli. Lyonnais, Champagne. Wait a minute. Low autonomy, is that the problem? Maybe it'd be better to use the actual production instead of base. Because the actual production is going to show us based on our autonomy, isn't it? Exactly, yep. Like Maine has high local autonomy, reduced that thing. Okay, works for me. Back to speed 5. Back to looting. Oh, he actually has his army. Come on, Burgundian Inheritance. Right now. Go. I know that it works because there have been people who have commented saying, Hey, I just did this. Like other people who are doing the same campaign that I'm doing right now. 
you know, they heard about it and they thought it sounded fun, so they went for it. What are these guys doing? They're all twittery. Just like twitching out. Stop that. That's why the Burgundian Inheritance can't fire. It's spending all of its calculation power on this. Hmm. We have 10 more exhaustion. That's... It's bad. Positive unrest in every province now. At 10. Imagine how bad it's going to be when we get up to 20. Ugh. The legitimacy... That could have been better. Maybe I shouldn't have hired that general. I refuse to give up. Damn it. <laughs> Game doesn't want me to have any manpower. Hmm. Crying out loud, just give me the freaking Burgundian inheritance. Come on. Our truce with Milan has already expired. It's been five years. Oh, great. <laughs> no. Okay, so the Neapolitan Separatists are going to fire fairly soon. Call for peace is getting rather insistent, isn't it? Good news is that once we fight the rebels, they can't really fire again. So for a few years, we'll be safe. There goes the claims on Italy. It's a shame. My unrest is causing unrest in all of his provinces now. We're seeing lots of heretics break out. But we get to pick up an extra relationship slot. And uh, Elan, so that's nice. This is very, very disappointing. Seriously, like, go watch the, uh... I think it was my, my Genoa campaign. Right? Frickin'... Within ten years, the Burgundian inheritance had fired for Austria. Just like out of the blue, it's just like, oh! Here you go! Wait! Wait! The Burgundy dies! It happened! God, yes, it's about time, for fuck's sake. Oh my god, You're pushing it to the very, very limit here. Okay, oh god, oh, whew. Alright, come on, give me the event. Thank you, yes, claim it. Claim it. There we go, 17 years left. 
Oh my god, that was a lot. This is going to be a lot to recover from now. Okay, well, with that in mind, um, now that we're at peace, and we've got uh, fairly high revolt risk everywhere, perhaps we should uh, actually buy this war exhaustion down when we get a chance. We'll start off by privateering in the English Channel. And we got to rethink, like, everything. Like, we got to do... Um, we gotta change where we collect trade, we gotta do all that stuff, we probably gotta ditch these forts. Too many forts. That one I might keep, that one I might keep. Income's actually fine. So we grab all of our armies and we get ready to go down there and take care of that. Okay, wow. Well, see all you really have to do is complain a lot. Royal marriage with Castile for diplomatic reputation? That sounds fine. I guess we can be friendly with you again. Make Saxony like us. Sure. We have a relationship slot now. Would you like to be our ally again? Yes, yes, more separatism, I'm aware. We knew it was going to happen. Restore Burgundian provinces. Certain provinces that came into our possession during the Burgundian succession crisis are claimed by other members of the Holy Roman Empire. They demand we restore these provinces to them. You want me to give land to Austria and to Liege? Or, these lands belong to us, we lose imperial authority. Well, considering we have, uh, ten... Well, the Imperial Authority loss sucks, but what we could do is uh, we could bestow Imperial Grace on people. Spend it all first. I don't want to give up two provinces, do you? 99% autonomy. And yet it does count as a province. Like, what, what, what are the op actual chances here? We have 58 provinces and 17 years to go. I say the odds are very, very low in this campaign. Because it was just so slow. But still, we have 960 development already. That's good. Yeah, for now I'm going to take a break. Um, We'll just bestow Imperial and Grace on a few people. All the electors. Good enough. Mine. Alright, cool. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, where we're just going to continue to go for the, uh, you know, better than Napoleon campaign. Still... Even though it was slow, it's not fast enough for the big blue blob, but it's definitely still a very strong start. And after we re reassess our trade route and probably move our capital, in, uh, our collection node up here, we will be looking good. In fact, we could probably find like the highest development province out here with high autonomy, and uh, and then we could move our capital there, spend a 200 admin points on that in order to get the autonomy down. Like Liège, for instance, we could get 15 development at 0% autonomy instantly. Same thing with Baroy. And Liège is in the wrong node. Never mind. It would have to be one of these provinces. It's so like Antwerpen might make sense. 22 development. Holland is at 22 as well with more estuaries. Holland probably makes the most sense. Although, isn't there like a random decision you can do? Uh, move court to Versailles. Looks like you can still do that, even if uh, you move your capital. I don't think we're going to play that long, I'm not sure. I like the idea of doing this. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise autonomy. 
Increase autonomy by 25. It's not possible to move our capital when there are rebels. Okay. So yeah, we raise autonomy and then we move our capital there. We get zero unrest. 22 development instantly becomes at 0%. It'll be great. All right. I'm going to take a break here. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.